Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live. Today I'm going to be trying out Green Pioneer Solutions Auto Parse uh, node module. Basically what it says here is Auto Parse will, will parse any value you happen to send in. String, number, boolean, array, object, function, undefined, and null. Uh, so Jason told me about this the other day and I hadn't personally tried it out yet. But uh, it was just on his website, greenpioneersolutions.com. And um, so if you watch the interview, um, I think he talked about it a little bit. But uh, so basically, here's the here's the gist of it. You send it, we will try to find a way to parse it. So uh, let's go ahead and create a basic node project, and we can set this up. So I'm going to change directory into my desktop, and uh, what I'm going to do right here is just make a quick uh, project called uh, auto parse, and I'm going to change directory into there, auto parse. I'm going to touch a server.js. Um, I guess we don't really need a server.js. We can just test test.js and we'll touch a uh, uh, what, what do we need we need a package.json I guess um, cool so let's do uh, npm init real quick make sure this this works for us auto parse cool and uh, then uh, after that we're gonna do npm install and make sure I got it right auto parse and I'm gonna do dash dash save just because just so we have it in here I'm gonna try it out for you guys. So it's sort of reading the documentation, right? You can you can parse really anything. You just require it, and then um, you run its main method, and then it's gonna to return to you whatever you want parsed. So um, let's go ahead and try out all of these things. So let me uh, let me open this up in Sublime real quick. And we're gonna try this out. So as soon as Sublime open up, opens up for me, let me see if I can get this to go up again. Sublime, okay, cool. So bring this down and I'm gonna do var auto parse, auto parser uh, equals require auto parse. Okay, and then from there, make sure I got this right, we'll call it auto parse. And then you can basically just pass it a bunch of different values. And like, it might seem like small, right? But like, actually this is something that, um, you know, I've been using Code Wars a lot, doing a lot of algorithms, and this is actually something that you would use quite a lot. I mean, it's almost like an eval, right? But this node module is taking care of something that oftentimes can be difficult, right? Say you have to, you know, get of all, get rid of all, uh, you know, numbers or all characters in a string that aren't a number or vice versa. So this package is, you know, going to take care, care of that. So let's try out a few things, right? Let's try out um, auto parse, you know, hello world. Let's try out auto parse, um, you know, see if we can give it five plus five and see what it'll do to that. We'll try out auto parse true um, and false, see what it gives it with that. And then let's try out, um, let's create a function here that just says, it's just a greeter. And we're gonna give it a name and we'll just say return hello plus name. And let's see if auto parse can handle this. So let's try auto parse reader and we'll say Theo for my name and let's see if they have any other things. You can also, it looks like you can also parse an object, but we're just going to try it out with those for now. So let's go ahead and, and uh, run this. Um, awesome. So let's try this out for ourselves. So let me go ahead and do node. Here, let me clear this out for us. You can do node test.js and let me see, why is it not? Um, let me see if I made sure to have it in here. Require auto parse, auto parse. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me, I might have to log it out, I guess. Let me see. Install, log in. Um, Tenet, index.js. Parse object. Okay, yeah, so it's this it's the doc. Let me actually just log it out. So we're gonna console.log all of this stuff. So let me try and run this. Uh ah, crap. Let me see. There's console.log. Let me console.log the first one and sort of see what it gives us. It gives us back hello world. That's cool. So let's just see what it gives us with this. And let's see what it gives us. Awesome, it evaluated that to 10, cool. So let's try it with, uh, um, let's try it with true or false. Let's do this. 
see if it can you know give us back that correct truth table. And let's also try it with auto parse Peter Theo. See if it can handle all of these conditions. I actually like this. This is pretty cool. Let's try that out. So it gave us hello world, 10, false, and hello Theo. So that was pretty awesome. I was able to accept that. So we'll say true and true. Let's see what that gives us. True. Okay. And true and not true. Let's see if that'll give us false. Awesome. Yeah, I, I really like this actually. This is pretty awesome. Let me see if it can. Uh, let's let's try the object real quick. Let's see what that looks like. So you just give it. Oh, it can also parse dates. It's pretty sweet. So let's see. Let's give it. Yeah, let's give it an object. Okay. So we'll say var object, and this is just going to have a property of name on it. It's going to be Theo and age, which is going to be twenty three, and we'll do console.log auto parse object. Let's see what that gives us now. So that gave us name, Theo, age, 23. And I guess you could also do auto parse object zero, right? You can get the keys. Um, actually, no. Object, I don't know what we can do. We can do object dot keys. Let's see if it can handle this of the object. Kind of curious. This would be impressive. Oh, name and age. Cool. So it, it yeah, this is pretty sweet. It's pretty flexible in terms of what it will let you uh, go after. So I I highly recommend, you know, you guys try this out. You know, I'm not being sponsored to say this. I honestly was just curious because he had mentioned it to me. So that's auto parse, guys. It, it's just npm install auto parse, and it's really simple. You just invoke it by requiring it, and then it's also that same main method. You just pass it in any parameter. So it's almost like a console.log, but for parsing whatever data you're going to throw into it. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a great day.